Time to talk a little bit more about the Django templating engine that we are actually already using, but we wanna learn more about it. So if I look at something like this, we've got two curly brackets, request.user, two more curly brackets. This is something that Django does by default, and it actually will render out that relative information. So we actually refresh in our homepage, and I see that CFA user, that's my username, and if I open an incognito window, I see anonymous user. That's expected. So that's part of what's built into the templating engine. We can, we can use the user model in it, right? And I can also say dot is authenticated, as in is logged in, and it'll say true or false depending on if they're logged in, right? So there's definitely a lot of things we can do there, which we'll talk about a lot more soon. So make sure you subscribe to get everything. But what you also should notice is that our views are rendering out three different HTML pages that actually might share attributes across each one. Let's say like a navigation bar, or more importantly, some metadata, like, you know, if we inspect the element here and we saw like, you know, the title tag or the description tag or other metadata that we might need to Im implement in here, or some CSS data. I mean, there's a lot of things that each one of those pages would actually be able to use. So this is where template inheritance comes in and where it's really useful for us. So what I wanna do is create a root page, the page that all these other pages are gonna borrow from. So I'll go ahead and call it base.html. Base.html is convention. That's how you're gonna to wanna to call it. Um, so, and you're gonna to wanna to make it a actual HTML document. So doc type HTML and then HTML, close off HTML and then body and body. Okay, and then we wanna do a head tag here. And in this case, just to show that this is actually working, we'll go ahead and put a title tag and say um, coding for entrepreneurs is doing try Django. Hey, hey, okay. Not really that clever, but it is something. So we've got our head tag, our body tag. Um, we have some HTML in here. We've got some stuff. And now what, what do I wanna do? Well, each one of these pages, I want to also have all of this stuff, the exact same stuff. How do I do that? Well, what I can do is come inside of this base.html, curly brackets, percent block content, percent curly brackets, percent curly brackets block or curly brackets percent block or rather in block. Okay, so this syntax might look a little weird to you, um, but basically it's saying like, hey, whatever's in between here, whatever comes in here, let's just replace it. So replace me, okay? That's all I'm saying. We're gonna use these blocks, these exact same blocks on any given page. So let's say for instance this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and say, just like that. So I've got a block here and that's the content that's gonna be, it's essentially gonna be copied here, brought in right here. And all I have to do to make all that happen is extends base.html. And again, these curly brackets, percent signs, um, it, it de definitely can get a little confusing. Um, so make sure that you are testing this on your own to make sure it's working. Okay, so I've got now a new thing for home.html. Back in a home, look at my title tag. If I refresh and now change to coding for entrepreneurs is doing try Django. So that title tag actually did change and it's based off of this base.html. So let's do that again on about. Inside of about, curly brackets percent extends base.html. Okay, so this is now pulling from base.html. If I saved it just like that and went into that about page, it just says replace me. Ah, so, so it's rendering out this default page. That's all it's doing. So in order for me to actually replace whatever block is in there, I have to use it. I do block content, curly bracket. So curly brackets percent block, that is the Django related stuff. Content is a variable that I created. And then we do in block to close it off. You might also see in block 
content. That's okay too. So we save that and we refresh and that is now changed. The title has changed. So we now have template inheritance. Um, and then of course that final thing would be true with contact as well. So again, we do extends base.html and then block content and then finally in block just like that. So the content that I'm actually using is right here, but now each one of those pages is uniform in Django. Um, this makes a lot more sense when I use something like a nav bar. So let's just go ahead and I'm just gonna use H1 or an H1 tag just to show this is a nav bar, not to get into too much of the HTML here, but this is a nav bar. It's on my about page. It's on my contact page it's on my home page, right? So it's, it's definitely the same thing all across. And that's how this inheritance actually works. Um, and I will say that, you know, if you change this to block content um, main or something like that, and then I save that, every single one of those pages would change, right? Because I'm not actually rendering or I'm not replacing the correct block in each one of those pages. Instead, I'm replacing nothing. So they just don't do anything which is really cool. That actually makes things a lot easier for us um, in the long run. But this might be a little tricky to get your head around on how this actually works. So what I do also recommend that you pause the video or stop now and change it to another uh, content area and do several blocks in there to see how all of that works um, to, to make sure that, that you have a better understanding of how this inheritance is because it definitely is a little bit trickier than just rendering out an HTML page, just a blank HTML page, um, but it is important. So we will still do a, more stuff on, on Django templates, but uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.